Hey everyone, my name is Susanna, but you can call me Suze. We're gonna kick the day off by singing about God together, so everyone stand up and sing along. You know when I'm lonely, you know when I'm sad, I know. And you are with me, yeah, you are with me. You know when I'm worried, you know when I'm mad, I know. And then I can trust you. Trust you. you don't want perfection, you just want my best And when my mind is racing, you will give me rest God is greater, greater than my feelings He knows everything, He knows everything God is greater, greater than my feelings He knows everything, He knows everything You know when I'm lonely, you know when I'm sad, I know And then you are with me, yeah you are with me You know when I'm worried, you know when I'm mad, I know And then I can trust you you. you don't want perfection, you just want my best And when my mind is racing, you will give me rest God is greater, greater than my feelings He knows everything, He knows everything God is greater, greater than my feelings He knows everything, He knows everything You are greater than all I feel You know it all and you always will I trust in you with all that I've got Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not You are greater than all I feel You know it all and you always will I trust in you with all that I've got Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not God is greater than Great singing, everyone. We all have feelings, but no matter what, God is greater than our feelings. And that's what this Blueprint series is all about. Have any of you ever watched a show on TV or a video on YouTube about building or construction? Well, I have the honor of being one of the hosts of the hit construction show, Build It, with my good pal Skip. Take a look at what happened when we were filming our latest episode. Oh, hey Skip, that's a nice looking chair you're building. Thanks, I'm feeling like I'm pretty much an expert. Oh, speaking of experts, there's a new builder featured in this magazine I'm reading. I've got to show you. His name is Luke Bradmore, and he's built 10 chairs almost just like yours. Honestly, his are so cool. You know, I bet there's a lot you can learn from him. Here, I think Luke Bradmore explains how to be an expert carpenter right there. Take a look. Expert carpenter, huh? Let's see this. Okay, well, happy reading. I've got a lot to get done. Can't wait to see what the chair looks like when you've learned a thing or two from good old Luke. See you later, Skip. Okay. Expert? What does she know? I mean, we've worked together for years. How could she? How dare she? And who is this Luke guy anyway? I mean, I'm the best builder in town. Blah, blah, blah. So much to learn from that guy. Blah, blah, blah. Skip, his chairs are so cool. Blah, blah, blah. Luke Bradmore? More like Luke bad at his job more. Him and his perfect chair building makes me so angry. So what if he's in some silly magazine? Like he knows anything. 
I'll make this so great, it won't just be in the magazine, it'll be on the cover! Or maybe just the back page. Oh man, those are some serious feelings we're dealing with here. I think there's something important we can all learn from that. Whenever we start to feel our emotions building up, we need to deal with how we feel and here are three steps into doing just that. The first step is to stop and figure out how we're really feeling. This can be tough, but it's important because if we're not careful, we can let our emotions get the best of us. If that happens, things can seem worse than they actually are, which can cause us to make decisions that we can't undo. So let's stop right now and talk about the emotions we just saw. We saw Skip feeling angry about something I said. He was so angry that he kept messing up his projects and he even hurt himself. He couldn't focus on the work he needed to do because his anger got the best of him. I'm sure we've all been angry from time to time. One way to deal with our feelings of anger is to take a break, walk away for a minute, and come back when we can have some self-control. The next thing we need to do is step two, which is to look. When dealing with what we're feeling, Looking helps us to see what's really going on. Skip just needed to look around at all of the great projects he's done. Then he would see that even though my words hurt, he's still a great builder and he didn't have to let what I said ruin his day. Which is why we've also got to make sure we're listening to the right people. And that's step number three. We've got to listen to God's blueprint for life, the Bible. God gave us the Bible as the blueprint for how we should deal with what we feel. Here, check this out. Hey everybody, listen up. Here's what God has to say. Aw oh, yeah, what you got for us today? Well, have you ever been so angry with someone that you wanted to get revenge? Oh yeah, like when my skateboard got stolen last year. I wanted to find out who it was and make them pay. Uh-huh, and what happens when you feel this way? My insides start to boil and I feel like I want to explode. That's exactly what we're talking about today. Explosions? Uh, more like how to avoid feeling that way. Today we're going to talk about anger and how we can defuse the anger bomb with self-control. I see what you did there. Clever, I know. <laughs> Anyways, there's a book in the Bible called Nehemiah, and it's all about a guy named Nehemiah. So what's Nehemiah got to be angry about? He's got a whole book named after him. He actually had a lot of reasons why he could have been angry. You see, Nehemiah had gotten some really bad news. The wall in his hometown of Jerusalem had been torn down, and the gates were burned with fire. This meant that all of their enemies were able to sneak in and take whatever they wanted. Okay, that's something to be angry about for sure. Nehemiah prayed to God and decided to rush back home to Jerusalem to help rebuild the wall. He knew he couldn't do it alone, so he rallied everyone in the town to come help. Can we rebuild it? Yes, we can! Here's the problem. There were lots of mean people who did not want to see the wall go back up. One of them was named Sandballot. Wait, there was a guy named Sandollar? Uh, no, Sandballot. Oh, gotcha, Sandcastle. No, Sandballot. Uh, anyways, <laughs> Sandballot had all sorts of mean things to say to Nehemiah. Oh, and I bet Nehemiah had some mean things to say right back to him. Oh yeah, well... Actually, Nehemiah didn't say anything mean back to him. He prayed to God and kept working. Sanballat did not like this and got more people to make fun of everyone who was working on the wall. Sanballat and his gang even threatened to kill the workers. I bet that made Nehemiah turn so green. 
Deadpool smash! Not quite. Instead of fighting back, he asked God to deal with the people who were making him angry. God helped Nehemiah have self-control. And even though he was bullied and had lots of reasons to be angry or get revenge, he stayed focused on God's help and rebuilt the wall in record time. Wait a second. Nehemiah found out the wall was torn down, he was made fun of, his life was even threatened, and even though he may have been angry, he was able to stay calm and have self-control? Yep, that's exactly right. You see, we'll all experience anger, but it's what we do when we are angry that can help or hurt the situation. So, when I don't get what I want, or if someone makes fun of me, I might get angry, but it's how I respond that makes a huge difference. That's right. Or if someone is angry with me, I don't have to be angry back at them. You got it. When we feel anger creeping in, God will give us self-control. As you saw from that true story, Sanballat and his crew were saying some awful things to Nehemiah and it made him mad. But Nehemiah didn't let his anger get out of control. Instead, he focused on what God had told him to do and kept working. When we're feeling angry, we need to come up with a plan to deal with that anger. One way we can deal is to stop and take a break. Then we can look at what's going on around us to see that we don't have to say or do things that hurt others. Because when we listen to the truth, or we'll remember that God gives us self-control. Whenever you're feeling angry, God gives you the self-control you need to do what's right. And that's what we need to know today. Everybody say it with me. When I feel angry, God gives me self-control. That's it. Now we're gonna play a game called Spot It. Two cards will appear on the screen and your job is to spot the object that appears on both of the cards as quickly as possible. You'll have 10 seconds before the cards disappear, so try to spot it fast. On your mark, get set, go! Great game, everyone. Now there's one more way to deal with all of your feelings, and that's to worship God by singing. So let's do it.
this week, remember that God gave you all of your feelings and he's always there to help you deal with them. Next up are some questions to help your family talk about what you learned today and pray together. And we'll see you guys next week.